In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package grouped list. As you can see here in the sample app we are going to build today, that we have a list that is grouped by teams. And when we scroll, as you can see here, the team name sticks to the top until it gets replaced by the new header further down. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package group list. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Concerning the app layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar. And then for the body, I use the group list view, which we get once we've imported the group list Flutter package. Also, I defined a custom list and each element in this list is a map with a key string and value string. So in this case, every element has a name and a group. So for example, John is in team A and Mike, for example, is in team C. Then we can use the group list view. For this, we define our elements as we've defined above. Then we have to tell the group list view how it should group the elements. And in this case, we group it by the group names. So team A, team B or team C. Then this item comparator is optional. So in this case, it compares the first item to the second item for each item. And in this case, then it sorts the list alphabetically. And once this is ordered, we could either display this ascending, which means that the order is from A to Z, or the other way around would be to write it with DASC, which stands for descending, which would be the other way around, so from Z to A. Then we can define a variable called use sticky group separators, which keeps the header here stick to the top. If we set this to false, then it would just scroll up and we wouldn't see it here anymore. Then very similar parameter, but not the same is the floating header. So if we set this to false, then it will have a background here. So here you can see that it's floating basically since it doesn't have a background. So if I set this to false and rerun our app, now we can see here, we no longer can see through this since it has a background now. Then we can use the group separator builder for defining the widget for each header. So we get through the value. So in this case, for example, team A or team B. And in this case, it's a simple text wrapped with some padding. And here's some font size and the font weight is bold. Then for these items here, we can use the item builder. We have the parameters context and element. So element, for example, is Beth, so the name or John. And in this case, it's simply a card. And here we simply display a list tile with an icon, the title itself, and then a trailing widget. In this case, just an arrow icon. And for getting this name here, we simply use our element and then the key name so that we get, for example, as mentioned, Beth or John. If you go to the pub.dev website, this is the app we built today. If you want to have something like the chat here, all you have to do is go to the GitHub website and then underneath the examples, you can find also the code for this here. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.